Meanwhile, back at registration. All right, y'all got your blue tickets out. The last four numbers is going to be 6043. Do we have a winner? This is just one of the coolest tournaments that you have a chance to go to, just not only as a sponsor, but to observe. I think the enthusiasm for the sport is contagious at this event. Um, always one of the highlights of the year. Oh man, it's a blast. The sponsors really hook us all up. You show up and they're feeding you dinner, they're giving you free stuff. I mean, every college kid's like free stuff. So, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 just wonderful though. I mean, they're, they're able to support you and they're just here showing their support. So we, this is my second year actually coming to an event and it's my favorite one definitely by far that we sponsor. To me this is the kind of pinnacle event of the year. I'm able to work this event every year. It's always worked out in my schedule and I just love being here. What I love about it is, is the kids are fired up about getting out there, figuring out bass. It's the way I was when I very first started out. I love seeing it. This is the 12th annual Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's, the premier event in collegiate fishing. And it wouldn't be possible without the continued support of our sponsors, many of whom have been with us since the beginning. This is the first yeah. year we've been here. Great sponsors, Yamaha, Bob's Jack Plate, Big Bite Baits. All these guys are great. Call, Cabela's College Fish has really put on a great format here. Yeah, Cabela's got involved from the very beginning. You know, we just saw it as an opportunity to reach out to these anglers to help continue to grow the sport that we love and that they love and, you know, help them um, continue on the legacy of fishing and outdoor in general. When they're able to go out there and consistently catch fish and have equipment that doesn't fail them, it's credibility with us and that's how you retain that and you and you grow that and in return you keep them as a long-term customer. It's it's extremely important as a brand to be able to connect with your customer at a you know an early stage in their career and their life cycle these guys are just just kind of getting out of school they'll start families start careers um, we get the chance to connect with them early on in in that stage of life and let them know we want to be their boat company. Championship Week in Florence offers plenty of opportunities for both the sponsors and the anglers to come together and build relationships that'll last well past the collegiate years. Yamaha Angler Appreciation Night is always a favorite, allowing anglers to win some valuable prizes and have a little fun in the skills challenges. What's your strategy here? Um, I don't know, I'm gonna let the wind tell me what to do, I guess. <laughs> On the technical side, Yamaha teamed up with Ranger Boats for demo rides. Anglers got some one-on-one -on -one time with Clark Wendland to check out the latest technology from Garmin, and Wade Middleton talked about the business side and how anglers can maximize their opportunities through corporate sponsor programs like those from Cabela's and Garmin. That have the opportunity to help you grow your career, or wherever it may be. Everyone had a great time. The turnout was tremendous, uh, and it really shows uh, a great growth potential for the sport of bass fishing. We went last night and got to test ride uh, in a Ranger 521 with a 250 Yamaha show and that was one of the best rides ever and then we got to compete in the cast and casting contest and I mean we didn't make it to the finals no, but we tried. It, was, it was fun. I love the event. Um, anytime you can get 200, about 200 boats with as twice as many guys out uh, together fishing in a tournament. It's going to be a good time. There are a bunch of, a bunch of really good bass fishermen here. And um, if, uh, if we can manage to compete with them, it's, it's a good feeling. And it's great to talk to everybody and to see people from all around the country. What's your biggest challenge with this field that's sitting out in that, in that room over there? <laughs> there are some sticks. Yeah, the talent is, yeah, it's, is it's crazy. It's through the roof, really. I mean, if you go out there and look, half these guys probably didn't make 10 casts this entire week. They've been doing nothing but graphing and finding, them, trying to find the schools outside. Um, I don't know, just so, and they can catch them. All they gotta do is find them, and a lot of these guys can catch them. Tell you what, man, I wish they had this when I was in college. I've been telling all my friends and family about it. You know, I would have been magnum cum laude had they had college fishing in my day. But, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity, man. You know, guys like me who came up through the grassroots, TBF, etc., Bass Federation, you know, now they have college fishing, which in my opinion, you know, works hand in hand. It's their grassroots, except for they get to go pursue an education, which is an incentive and a great opportunity for these young anglers.